Since the dawn of democracy, referring a decision to the people has been an important right. It's a yes or no question on a single issue with the power to change laws or even the course of a country. But rarely have plebiscites been so common, so consequential and so controversial. Supporters of referendums say they legitimize legal changes, involve citizens in state affairs and keep the powers of parliament in check. But opponents say they often aggravate instead of settle issues, especially in countries where referendums are not legally binding. More often than not, they also fail to give a clear majority and ultimately undermine democracy. In the past, referendums have helped dissolve colonialism. They're also a way to reshape national identity and change attitudes. I'm waiting for change. Come on, let's have a new flag. Last year, New Zealand gave its people a say on their country's flag. And Ireland became the first nation to put the legalization of gay marriage to a popular vote. But one of the most controversial referendums in the last decade was a vote in Crimea on whether to rejoin Russia in 2014. Polls suggest that a majority of ethnically Russian Crimeans are now happier under Russian rule. But much of the Western world says Russian President Vladimir Putin wrongly meddled in Ukraine's affairs and argue the vote was unfair and illegitimate. Margaret Thatcher, the former British Prime Minister, once described referendums as a device of dictators and demagogues. And it was a referendum that gave Adolf Hitler's Nazi party supreme power in 1929 and why today referendums are banned in Germany. Another danger is when voters don't understand the subject in question or the question itself. Critics say voters in Greece failed to understand last year's referendum on the EU bailout because the text on the ballot was too complex. Some warn that referendums will increasingly be used as a political weapon by both the right and the left. Venezuela's opposition want a vote to oust the increasingly unpopular president Nicolas Maduro. And Hungary's government wants a public consensus on EU plans to share migrants across Europe. Scotland may well hold a second referendum too, on independence after Britain voted to leave the EU. A chance to correct the result of one referendum with another. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.